So I tell parents that this is really an irritation or inflammation of the airway, which can just develop on its own from a variety of different triggers, because there's no one type of asthma. Every child has their own particular version of asthma. But there are certain common triggers that we always have to be mindful of, one of which is respiratory infections. Children anywhere between age two to 10 years of age can expect anywhere between seven to 10 respiratory infections a year. But if you have asthma, it is a well-known trigger to cause those type of symptoms. In addition, we have things that are allergens, and this is where the allergist immunologist comes into play. But when you're talking about allergens, there are certain things we wanna make sure that we identify them and get them under control if possible, because we wanna minimize a child's exposure to them because that will minimize triggers. When you're dealing with those non-allergy triggers, or what we call irritants, these are things that are floating around in the air. I mean, when we talk about air quality, we're talking about air quality indoors as well as outdoors. Once an intervention plan is tailored to that specific patient and family, in many cases, we want to follow up to make sure that the intervention that we put in place is effective. And then once we achieve that, working with the family, we can work together to kind of reduce it to the least amount, if any, which is going to continue doing the job. Please listen to your physician or specialist to make sure that these symptoms are well controlled and that child is on the least amount of medicine to help you achieve that control.